guys, it's Brianna and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what the title says. So anyways, um, yeah, follow your plan, not your mood. This is actually that's a little square something on my vision board because it's just so important to me, this little message and it's really powerful, right? So I know that we all have bad days that get us down and just make us want to just sit in bed or sit around and do nothing. And while that can be good sometimes, like that's just kind of what you need, it's not good to always fall back upon that. And like, we have a plan with our lives. We know what we want to do, right? And we have everything in our power to go and achieve that, right? So when we have these bad days, it can be really hard not to get in our head and just sit there like, Ugh. and just wanna sit on your phone or watch a TV show or something like that and just make excuses after excuses for yourself why this is good for you. Maybe you try to justify it in your head and I'm very guilty of that. But this is okay in moderation, right? So it's important to kind of figure out things that can give your energy back so instead of just kind of sitting there and doing nothing which i think is okay to do for a few minutes like an hour if you need to but anything more than that it be kind of it kind of becomes like a self-sabotage behavior so when you do need a break from the mood you're kind of in and you're just not feeling it it's important to figure out ways that you know can give you that life back, that energy back. I actually did a little journaling yesterday and kind of went through some things personally for me that I find are revitalizing and can really give me that energy back pretty quickly. And I just kind of figured this out over time. And doing one of these things for me at least, or a combination of them is like a surefire way to just get my vibe back, become myself again, you know? And while these are something that works for me, they could work for you or you might need to come up with your own list. But I'm going to give you a few examples so that you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. The first one on my list is exercise. I always feel really good after a nice workout and it doesn't even have to be anything crazy. Like sometimes I'll just pace around my house for like 10 minutes and I feel good. Um, another one, a big one is get some sunshine. It's like not really that sunny out. It could be sunnier. It could be cloudier, but that's another one. Um, learn a language. I love doing my little Duolingo. I'm learning French and Spanish right now. Um, uh, a digital detox for like an hour. And that can be kind of helpful, but my work is online. So sometimes it's iffy, but it, it does feel really good sometimes. I and mean, that's sometimes just kind of what you need. Um, watch a sunset or a sunrise, play a board game. Sometimes I'll just recruit my sister to play one with me. She's usually down. Um, open a window. Should I do that now? No, it's actually kind of cold out. I'm not going to do that. But I did it yesterday and it felt great. Light a candle, read like a paper book. I always feel better when I'm reading a book on paper instead of on my phone because I'm always online. So it feels good just to have a paper book in my hands and read. Um, clean garden like i have plants here i could water them trim them up do whatever i need to do go to the movies like a movie theater not just open my computer and watch it learn some yoga meditate and feed some birds so that's my list and those are kind of just ways you can get your energy back you know and i mean it's okay to just have this time to like refresh and rest if you need to. Even just taking a nap can be really good if you need that. Adjusting your sleep schedule. And then once you've done that, like, get yourself back. Get yourself back together. There's always little things you can do to work towards your goals. You don't have to, like, sit down and write a whole essay. Um, but you can. Sometimes when we're in this mood, it might be good to kind of make a to-do to list. Like, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed and burnt out. Maybe you just need to write a list of the things you need to do and narrow it down to what you can do today or what has to be done today and just work from there. Maybe there's something you can do throughout the week 
or something like that. Maybe you just need to write a to-do list in general. Maybe you just need to write out kind of like a six-month plan, a three-month plan, a five-year plan. Maybe you haven't done that and that's something you want to do to help you stay on track with your goals and that's completely valid. Um, now kind of like onto the plan, like what can you do right now? Um, what's something that you need to get done that you've been putting off? I, I know there's stuff I have to do today that I've been putting off and I really don't want to do it, but I have to and I kind of focus on the goals, man. So, but it, you know, it's also important to come at it from like an empathetic standpoint, you know, it's all about that balance, the intention behind it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so a good place to start, quite frankly, is what have you been putting off? If you are, if you like are lost with your to-do list or whatever, a good place is usually to do things that you've been putting off because once you do them, quite frankly, you think they're going to take a long time and a lot of energy, but then they don't. <laughs> and then you feel so good afterwards that you got them done. So that's a great place to start because then you don't have these burdens like kind of weighing you down and it can be like that push to get you towards your goals and get you moving and yeah I mean if you're down in this mood recognize that and say okay I'm kind of feeling maybe you're feeling sad or depressed and then maybe you can say some affirmations in the mirror especially maybe you have a crystal that you just want to hold for comfort. This is a selenite palm stone. Selenite is good for peace. And hold it in the right hand if you want to project peace. Hold it in your left hand, your receiving hand, if you want to receive peace. And you can hold it to your heart, whatever feels right. Take a few deep breaths, that sort of thing, or whatever crystal you have can work. Um, clear quartz is kind of universal. You can set the intention for any purpose with that one. But just finding what works for you, because while it's good to have a rest day, you can't be having rest days like every week. They're like that's not, I don't, this is my opinion, and I don't think that's healthy um, to just slack off for an entire day like every week um a rest day here and there is so good though like just taking a day to completely do nothing can be really good and just taking that time to get your energy back refresh reset like kind of come up with a new plan if that's what you need those can be good and you can even just have like a rest hour every day where you focus that time on revitalizing your energy maybe coming up with a plan or something. Maybe like nine, eight to 9 a.m. every day, you're like, okay, this is my time to just chill. And then at 9 a.m., I'll figure out what I'm gonna do today. Maybe that's what works for you. And it's kind of about working with yourself, but also not self-sabotaging. I kind of have this habit of like justifying my behaviors and just over justifying it in my head until I believe myself that this is okay. But then I look back on it and I'm like, what was I doing? I was just justifying self-sabotaging behaviors. And it's not good because then I don't see myself progressing and I kind of start to feel bad. So that's something I need to work on. And maybe you feel the same way. I'm just sharing my story. So maybe you feel the same way and you don't feel alone, right? And we can kind of work on it together. Um, yeah, I mean, that was kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, there is a link in my description box. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching session with me, you can click it down there. If you want to follow my socials, they are also linked in the description box below. And yeah, I hope you guys have an incredible day. I'm Brianna Gorski. Make sure to like and subscribe. All right, guys, love you. Bye-bye.